Okay, let's load the game, conveniently named continue here. And as you can see in the preview picture there, we are standing in front of the doors leading to, uh, to M478. Yeah, so I'm I'm thinking I'm thinking this is uh, a transition behind the door and not just you know uh, it could also be that there just be a stupid protocol droid standing there. Hello, I'm M478. What can I do for you? But it's going to be a transition, right? This is going to be another area, definitely. Alvador says, Jordi, your background is a little off. There's a small gray bar to your left. Oh, yeah. Okay. That can be easily fixed. Thank you, Alpha Door. That shouldn't be there. That shouldn't. Have. You know, I could just drag it outside. <laughs> because I have a little bit of. Still here, you know. Yeah, it's fine. Thank you. That was actually pretty, uh, pretty helpful, Alpha Door 7. For a change. For a change. <laughs> just kidding. Okay. So that has been corrected. All right, so let's open the door. See what find out. Found out. Find out about M478. Heimdall Place is here. Hello, Heimdall Place. I figured you were here, and because of uh, that, I actually changed the music that I'm going to play at the end. It's especially for you, something that you requested, and then I played it, and you weren't there. Today you will be here, so we will play it again. So there you go. The transition is it. Of course it is. Uh, behavior core. That's perfect now. Frag up. Yes. Oh, look at this. This looks great. They put some effort into uh, the scenery here. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Okay, there's no control over here. Actually, I was thinking maybe I should uh, switch out Handmaiden. She hasn't said a word. Um, on M478, wouldn't it be more funny or more relevant if we would switch her out with um, the droids? One of the droids. I don't like go to go to can go to hell. <laughs> and uh, no, no, not remove. T3 stays, but handmaiden can stay, and we take uh, HK with us. Yeah. Hi, HK. Uh, can't say I want to, to upload, uh, upgrade you right now, I have to say. Because you are at level 6, that would mean like 20 up, uh, uh, leveling ups to do for you. I'm not sure I want to do this. Let me have a quick look at you. What can you do? Actually, what are you good at? Demolitions. Not good at stealth. Awareness. You should have a little bit of persuade, don't you? Um, repair, security. Ah, you're a pretty, pretty skillless droid, I have to say. So you have a power blast, you're good at handling rifles. Upgrade class one, you have a little bit of toughness. Uh, logic upgrade tactician. Uh, tactician, yeah. Uh, having witnessed the effects and actions of combat firsthand, the droid is able to self upgrade their defense algorithm. This feat grants plus four defense and is always active. He places the combat logic upgrade. Okay. What do we have here? Assassin protocols. These protocols are left over from HK46 days as an assassin droid. When a critical hit is achieved, there's a 20% chance that extra damage equal to one quarter of the target's remaining life applied after normal damage is dealt will be dealt. A successful fortitude state of difficulty class 10 plus the attacker's level where the target can avoid this extra damage. Well, so that means the higher a level HK47 gets, the better this uh, skill will be. So we better level him up. Uh, Heimdall Blaze says, for me? Oh, I feel so honored. Oh, I'm, I missed it, Johnny Jones. I'm so sorry I missed it the first time. Oh, well, you know, we others uh, could delect ourselves uh, with it. So it, it wasn't that... Uh, you know, you know, it's a song that is good, so I, I'm I'm fine with playing this even if you are not there. That's what I'm trying to say. Alpha 7 says no breaks for the next four to six hours. You need to hear the music I'm that place. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, the music will be play at, played at the end, so you can take all the breaks you want. You won't miss it. Old Dodger is here. Hello, Old Dodger. 
With that, I want to say uh, a big thank you to Dodger and Eagle Beakster and Heimdall and Hovinal and all the good people on Twitter who retweet me, who retweet my tweets. You, are, you guys are awesome. Thank you for the support. Uh, Chris says, Goto is a noisance in my opinion and nuisance. And Chrissy X also says, HK47 is of course the superior choice. <laughs> be, be crailed! Again, high enough place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a great pun over there. Alphador says, Christy X go to just leads to messy code. <laughs> yeah, Christy X also says, Alphador 7, you obviously have never programmed C. Um, Christy X, then again, as member of the C++ master race, I'd argue C itself leads to messy code. <laughs> okay. All right. Nulani join. Hello, Nulani. How's it going? Okay, let's do this. Let's get let's level him up real quick so he gets the droid upgrade. He will end up with a droid upgrade four. Uh three, so don't worry. I can raise his skills. What do we want? What skills do we want on him? Repair, right? He gets three points per level. What else can he need? Oh, actually. We have T3 with us. He doesn't need anything else. How far can we go with the repair thing? Oh, we can go pretty far. So let's boost that up until we have maxed in repair and then we will uh, bring demolitions up because I think that's where T3 is lacking in. Yeah. Okay. That's a good plan. Oh, attributes. Huh. Well, he's wielding a, a rifle. Blaster rifle. So he will need dexterity, right? Oh, look at his constitution, though. That's pretty, pretty low. What does he need intelligence and wisdom for, I, I might ask? We don't need strength as well. I mean, we could make him a, a, uh, a, a melee droid. That would be funny to look at. A melee droid. I'm not sure, though. I don't, I don't think I should. No, 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 no. I think constitution is a good idea, though. I want him to be at 12 constitution at the end. So, um, boost repair. Okay, we got uh, to the maximum repair and now we are putting points into demolitions as well. There will be a lot of uh, level ups, so uh, we will get this up quick. And if that is also max and we still have one point, we will get to awareness as well. Because that, you know, accompanies um, uh, demolitions pretty well. Oh, look at all those feats he can get. Well, power shot. Let me have a look at master power blast um, minus 3 to hit I don't like this but plus 12 damage critical multiplier is increased that is actually pretty good because he uh, his skill his assassin skill um, triggers um, off of critical hits so I should make build him so that he does lots of critical hits and that master power blast gives me uh, one more range in which a critical hit is triggered Oh no, this is actually the multiplier is increased. Okay, I got it. If a critical hit doubles your damage usually, with this it will triple it. Okay, I understand. On a critical hit, the target is knocked back unless they make... Okay, okay. So, well, hearing what I just said means that I actually want to build the sniper, uh, sniper shot, right? What is the negative here? Master Sniper Shot, when uh, the feature quadruples the critical threat range. Excellent! If the attack hits, the target is also stunned with a DC blah blah blah. This feat lowers defense by 5. Works with ranged weapons only. By the way, two weapons fighting, does that work with two-handed weapons? No. No, one in, one in each, yeah of course. All right, so let's bring up sniper shot first. That's the first, the very first thing I want to do. What's this? This looks new. Droid interface. This feat gives the droid the ability to speak with other droids who don't speak a sentient language. Whoa, this is completely new to me. I don't know what that means, what this does. I never saw, seen this before. Wow. Yeah, well, it's HK47 uh, only, I guess, so that's why. This is the assassin protocols thing, okay. That triggers off of critical hits. So that's what where what I built my build around. And we have to get precise shot as well. 
so that we won't get deflected. Oh man, lots to do, lots to do. Toughness is a thing that I want. Yeah. Alright, so, we did the sniper shot thing. Good. Level up again. Skills. Keep repair at maximum. Get demolitions up. Accept. Level up. Skills. Do the same. Okay. Feats. I got modified assassin protocols. Okay, this levels, levels up automatically. Fantastic. Okay, one third. Okay. Uh, the way this is better than the, the, the uh, level one version is instead of um, dealing damage equal to one fourth, we do one third now to the maximum health of the enemy. Of the remaining health of the enemy. Cool. Okay, but we can, uh, you know, go deeper into sniper shot now. Nice. Wait, I have another one? Oh, this is... Oh, no. I didn't add it, actually. There you go. Okay, level up. Attributes. Let, get, let's get that uh, constitution up. More skills. Keep uh, repair where it is. Feats. Uh, not where it is. Oh, I got another feat. Okay, that, the feats are coming in, dudes. Alright, let's get the ma master sniper shots. You are a sniper now, HK. Congratulations. And we got the droid upgrade class 3. That's excellent. Okay. Demolitions uh, caught up with repair. This is fine. Now the feats are not coming in fast. Ah, next feat coming up. Let's raise awareness. It's al always a good thing. Raising awareness for things. Okay, so we want... I, I want to know what that droid interface. That should be a good thing on um, M478, right? Oh, I haven't uh, catch, caught up on chat now, right now. Uh, HK is a masterful shooter with a DC blah blah blah. That sounds so OP, says Heimdall Blaze. DC blah 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 is my favorite character in Star Wars, Johnny Jones. <laughs> JMC joined us! Hello JMC, how's it going? Just woke up 30 minutes ago. <laughs> yep, I hear ya, bro. So, yeah, so mechanically, actually close combat is the thing that every ranged fighter needs as well. Oh man, I think that's the something I want to do. Does um, dueling work with two-handed weapons? Characters that focus on using single one-handed weapons. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Okay, close combat. Yeah, let's add the close combat feat. It's necessary, pretty much. We are at combat droid level 15. We have seven more levels only to level up. So let's put something in dexterity as well. We want him to hit, right? So. Accept. More skills. Let's keep demolitions and repair at level and awareness. Gets the rest. Integrated assassin protocols. I'm now doing half of the target's remaining life on top of the uh, normal damage. Excellent. Let's get improved close combat. Yep. Cool. Another feed coming in. That's excellent. Let's go right. So, now that we have covered close combat. We could take droid interface. Yeah, let's take this finally. <coughs> Except skills. Nice. Attributes, another dexterity. Excellent. Keep this as level. Man, more level ups. I think two more are coming in. We got this, guys. We got this. Another feat. So we could actually get to weapon specializing blaster rifle, get more damage out of it. Get a little bit of toughness or uh, we could finally get into precise shot. I mean we are not going to see Sith on M478. But we are going to see them soon. So also there is dual strike always is a good idea. <coughs> In toughness. Oh, 
Uh, we'll also get a damage increase here, so this is almost as good as taking specialization in blaster rifle. So we will take precise shot here, yeah. We will go start going into it. We will need it at some point. So there you go. Accept. And that was it! Now we need to outfit you, which won't be that easy, I have to say. Dwarf dash plating, dexterity plus one, defense nine, dexterity minus two. But he's very resilient versus uh, melee damage. Okay, sounds good. What else we got? Okay, inferior, inferior stuff. Let me have a look. You are at dexterity 19 right now because we put in uh, the plus dexterity thing. Although we didn't want to. Maybe we get another dexterity somewhere. Oh, look at this. So many things. Uh, poison viral and do we have an unlimited thing on this on him as well? I don't think so a molten cannon. Ooh, that sounds and <laughs> fantastic So poisoning uh, things here on uh, m478 sh should be a Bad idea, right? Do we have something against draw it's something iron damage thing? Damage none poison virulent, okay paralyze Horror, horror doesn't also doesn't work. Droid Iron Striker, that should be a thing. That should help. Plasma Thrower, that sounds interesting as well. Put in the Iron st Iron Strike thing and the other Iron Strike. We are not going to use it anyway. We are going to use our trusty uh, rifle anyway. What do we have here? Plat three versus human doesn't help here at all. Fortitude and Constitution. Do we have some dexterity? We need plus one dexterity. Do we have plus one? Oh, repair plus four would also be helpful, I guess. Defense bonus two and dexterity one. That is perfect. That motivator goes in. So we boosted our defense by two right now. We are at defense 33. This is fantastic. We could um, put in another motivator. Dexterity plus two. Reflex plus two. Demolitions for will and wisdom. I think I'm going to put in a droid parabolic guide That gives us plus two dexterity, so we are now at 34 defense and a little bit into our will re uh, reflex saves <coughs> Excellent look at this plus six and t3 is at plus nine. So nobody beats t3 in dexterity or on any other uh, field but we are getting close, so that's cool. What do we? Uh, what else do we have as headgear? Attack modifier plus three. Oh, precise, precise shots one, two, and three. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I like this assassination module. Oh, okay. I mean, he would be predestined to wear this. Usable by HK47. You see? Yeah, we should put it in because it is for him. He should get it. And what else? Last but not least, the belt defense barrier. Oh yeah, his defenses um, absorbs. Do we have some unlimited thing here? Unity grid. I like the. I like the title. Unity. Two hundred. And this also two hundred. Where's the difference? Class 1. Oh, it's only the seconds, the points. That's what I need to look at. 60 points, 110 points, 100 points. Why is this class 3? Oh, this is also class, class 3. Okay. I think the 110 is the... It's the superior thing. So let's put it on him. And now the most important thing. He needs a rifle. So do we have a good rifle for him? Uh, we have a disruptor rifle that which is unstoppable. Has a good critical threat and is fully upgradable. Oh, is it already upgraded? I think it's already upgraded. No, I think we took the parts out. I think this is the rifle that Jordi used before. Plasma projector. Why can't we wear this? Oh, we need a specialization in blaster rifle. Ah, look at the critical threat, but it's not upgradable. Okay, disruptor rifle. We give him a disruptor rifle and see if we can up upgrade it. That's a good idea. <sighs> so, we did it guys. HK is now at full capabilities. We give him the AI of being uh, stationary. There you go. 
So, let's explore this, finally. I'm quick saving this, as to not lose this. Uh, DM says, said earlier, Saturday mornings don't exist, I tell you. I'm the place says, welcome. Old Dodger says, never played this, how far is Jordy Jones in the game? Half or more? So, in the vanilla game you have to visit four different planets to collect four, or you know, to find four former Jedi Masters. And I found two so far, if I'm not mistaken. And I am on pursuit of the third, and the third was uh, meant to be on Corioban, but with the mod that I installed, the M478, um, that master is not on Corioban anymore, but he relocated to M478, so that's why I'm here. So I came from Corioban and followed him here, and my goal, ultimate goal here on this planet is to um, find him here. Let's talk to Curry, HK47, maybe he has something that you need killed, Master? If there's something you need killed, uh, not right now, dude. You don't have to call me. HK, do you know what love is? Answer. Many organic meat <laughs> banks find that question difficult to answer, Master. But I believe I can provide you with a satisfactory definition. Oh, I'm definition. very interested. I think he did this. Love is making a shot to the knees of a target uh, 120 kilometers away using an Aerotech sniper rifle with a tri-light scope. I had an argument with, I, I remember arguing with Heimdall players about this. Or this, let's say we're in discussion, not arguing. Uh, when I don't think I've ever Statement. been in love. This definition, I am told, is subject to interpretation. Uh -huh. Obviously, love is a matter of odds. Of odds? Not many meatbags could make such a shot. And strangely enough, not many meatbags would derive love from it. Yet for me, love is knowing your target, putting them in your targeting reticle, and together achieving a singular purpose against statistically long odds. Yeah, I've heard enough. I uh, have Statement. some questions. Ah, more questions. Wonderful. Oh, I didn't save the stationary stand. Thank you, Hazard Hunter. I will do that after this. Great definition this, Dark D. Oh, well, that's true love, says Alvador. I found the Navi computer tampered with. Any idea why it's locked? Query. Indeed, I was unaware that the Navi computer was locked. Well, now you are. Yes, it's voice printed. Statement. Yes, I heard it was voice printed. Most curious. Don't you think? You can mimic languages, right? Can you unlock Statement. it? Statement. I suppose so, Master. But I would need to know who voice locked it. And regrettably, I do not have that knowledge. It seems do to I? me that we will have to accept the T3's astrogation abilities for the time being. It is a very loyal and dependable droid for its class. Hey! He's standing right next to you! Statement. Well, he didn't really yeah, insult him, more but. Uh, questions. Wonderful! He likes my questions. So, how did you get scattered or. I wanted to talk about the other HK. HK, do you know what love is? Who was your previous master? Why did you ask me about the Mandalorian Wars? Do you know anything about the Sith hunting us? Okay, that's it. You have no nothing new to, to tell us right now. HK47 is so romantic, isn't he? Uh, Heimdall Play says, haha, I remember our arc discussion. And you're not willing to give love a shot. No, that's exactly what transpired. <laughs> Okay, the turret is not talking to me. Let's talk to the escort droid. At your service. Oh, I don't want to go As anywhere. Is this another escort? No, this is an assault droid. No problems. Okay, no problems. Fine. Look at this. This is how I, how I expect a central intelligence to be. This is excellent, guys. Hello, I am IS24, controller of the industrial zone at M478. What is your request? Wait, what? I thought I was going for M478. <laughs> Finally, yeah, let's say this. This is totally irrelevant. And he should uh, comment on this. I'm sorry for any inconveniences you might have had trying to contact me. I-102 has already informed me of the destruction of I-101. According to the data we currently possess, there was no way to prevent that from happening. Alright, so I was mistaken. 
This is not M478, this is uh, one of the masters of the sectors that we, I were in, of the industrial sector. Fine, it's still, uh, still very impressive. I like this. They did, they obviously put lots of effort into creating this scene. Uh, any thoughts on who could this uh, could have destroyed one I one hundred one? Not enough data. It might have been organics from the environmental zone. Oh, organics. Hey, G pudding is here. How's it going, G pudding? I'm uh, I'm glad to be back in the Star Wars universe, G pudding. I'm that place, Saturn. No problemo. Arnold style would have been funny on that droid. No problemo. Every time I see our char without something in his face, he reminds me of Richard Chamberlain. Yeah, hey, that's a good old Dodger. That's a good uh, comparison. Yeah, that's true. I'm the place. G pudding, hey, uh, Mr. G pudding. Mr. G pudding. G Rocco is here. Hello, G Rocco. Thank you for joining us today. <laughs> you say morning all. Thought I would. Pop in to get my daily harassment in for Jordi. Ah, my beautiful audience. Alright, so, uh, why wasn't there some kind of backup plan in case A101 was destroyed? You must have considered that possibility. There used to be more units with authority to arrange a meeting with me. Their authority has been removed and their memory wiped, all for my safety. For your safety? Yes. Not a long time ago, shortly before the death of the colonists, some strangers arrived. It is believed they have taken over control of at least some droids in the environmental zone, including the SO5, the environmental archon. She started to believe the Sith weren't the planet's real colonists. One of her droids was sent to talk to me about it. I assume the SO5 has either been reprogrammed or gone rogue, so I ordered my droid to report it to the colonists. They decided it would be better to leave only one loyal droid able to contact me. Additionally, I-101 was ordered to limit contact with me. Only the heads of the industrial departments could contact me, and only regarding important matters. Alright, so that voice actor was <laughs> blowing into the, the mic. I don't even know if you if I could recreate this, because I have a pop filter here, so I don't know if that worked, but yeah. Um, so what I'm taking from this is that... Uh, I don't know why this um, intelligence didn't come to the conclusion that the Sith actually wanted to restrict access to him so uh, he cannot be persuaded of the real, of the reality of what's really going on. And that is that the Sith aren't really the colonists of this. Uh, that is a very easy conclusion to make here, but he, it didn't. Yeah, I believe ES05 was and is right. Um, uh, G-Putting, why are you asking for uh, Ultima 7? I did. Uh, on GOCOM a while ago. Last year, actually, for a few hours. Uh, as part of my Ultimate Ultima stream. You can still watch it on my YouTube. I've uploaded the whole thing, the whole 12, 12 hours. <laughs> the droid voices are tickling my ears with he uh, with headphones. <laughs> Says Chivoko. All right, so um, one of these friends must be Master Bash. Is there any way to contact me? Yeah, yeah. I think that FAB4 is the thing, but I want to say the first. I believe ES05 was that right. It is possible, but it doesn't matter. They are dead. Oh no! Why are they dead? Uh, did you mention strangers arriving in the environmental zone? Indeed. I don't know who they were, but I've heard reports of non colonist organics in the environmental zone. That must be Master Bash in her Padawan. I've got to find them. Then our goals are compatible. I will let you in the environmental zone. Excellent. If the is dead, and 478's guidance is necessary. The SO5 and I combined have authority to reactivate him. Find the SO5 and gain her support. Yay, let's reactivate the big boss. 
I'll find those I'm looking for, and I'm getting out of the here. I don't see any reason to help you. No, 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 I'll do that. Thank you. I have lowered the force field blocking the environmental zone. You should not be able to enter. Now, is there something else you needed?